us, if he be for us, he is more than the world against us. Yeah. I've decided, uh, I, we, Pastor and I have been speaking and, and talking. We've decided yeah. that we're going to grab a hold of everything that God has for us. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. limits. Uh, the sky is limit less. Yeah. Not the sky is a limit. The sky is limit less. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. And trust and trust in God uh, to not only fulfill the dream, but even more importantly, trust in God, rest in Him as you wait for the dream to come to pass. Amen. You know, one of the things that, that um, I, I think vacation does for you, uh, the, the ability to vacate, the ability to kind of leave not only your, your surroundings, but even more importantly, kind of rest and relax. And isn't it interesting? Uh, you know, Pastor Tina and myself, we've always been of this mind uh, th that we need to take not only the break, but one of the things that I believe wholeheartedly is that in our lives, we need about seven days, mm -hmm. seven days to really come to a place where, where you just literally begin to understand that uh, the vacation is taking over. Yeah. And isn't it funny that seven is the number of perfection or the number of completion? Right. And, and eight is the beginning of a new day. And so one of the things that I, I want to encourage, even as we are looking at these uh, blizzard of blessings, <laughs> overshadow us these last two days. Let us rest in God over the next seven days, looking for him to perfect in us. Not only the, the things that he's placed in our hands and in our hearts, in our spirits, but the blueprint that he wants us to step into. To not only finalize, maybe some for some of us to prepare, but even to begin to, 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 to launch out and to walk in. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, as we've gotten back and we're getting ready to step forward and do some things, <clears throat> we had no idea uh, that this, this blizzard would come the way that it did. But God had already prepared us to be in position. Uh, and so now we celebrate God because as we're resting in him, it's all about him. Absolutely. And so we, we want to encourage you today to take these next several days and let us ensure that as we take these next several days, that we put ourselves in a place that by the time next Sunday rolls around, that we will be ready uh, to not only launch out, in what it is that we believe that God has given us as a blueprint, but even more importantly, that we would begin to walk in, that, that we would prepare, that we would do the research, and that as God uh, not just overwhelms, might, might overwhelm us, but as he surprises us, yeah, that's the word, when God surprises us with what it is that he wants to do in us, that we will be in a place where we'll rest in Him and trust in Him. I dare you right now to trust in the Lord. I dare you to believe God and to know that He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think. Amen. Pastor, I want to share this scripture, uh, and, and I know you're going to pray for us, uh, but more, most specifically, it's, it's Paul's prayer to the church at Corinth, and it's, it's a prayer that we often pray over Victory Faith Christian Center, uh, our family here, this 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 group of overcomers. Hallelujah. And it's from Ephesians, the third chapter, and verses uh, 14 through 20. And um, it's just a powerful prayer. Receive this, beloved. The Bible says, I'm reading out of the Message Bible. My response is to get down on my knees before the Father, this magnificent Father, yeah, who parcels out all heaven and earth. Yeah. I ask him to strengthen you by his spirit, not a brute strength, but a glorious inner strength, that Christ will live in you as you open the door and invite him in. And I ask him that you both with that with both feet planted firmly on love 
you'll be able to take in with all followers of Jesus the extravagant dimensions of Christ's love. Reach out and experience the breath. Mm. Test its length. Plumb the depths. Rise to the heights. Live full lives. That's where we are today. Full in the fullness of God. Verse 20 and 21 says this. God can do anything, you anything, know. Anything, yeah. Far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. His spirit deeply and gently within us. Glory to God in the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the Messiah in Jesus. Glory down all the generations. Glory through all millennia. Oh yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 You know that's 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 so powerful. That's so good. Uh, glory to God Amen. for His faithfulness. Yes. You know, as we pray this morning, uh, I want to pray. Well, we want to pray that God will awaken you to everything that He has for you. Uh, you know, one of the things that I really believe is that in this hour, God is raising up a church that will hear the wind words as the Spirit oh, blows. Yes. Uh, Holy Spirit. That, that God would begin to not only grow us, yes. but he would, he would know us. That, that we will know him in the power of his resurrection, that uh, we will know him even in this manner that he is for us. I want you to lift up your hands. I, I want you to really focus right now, hopefully wherever you are listening to uh, this message. Uh, we wanted to ensure that uh, we could not only take the time, but we wanted to ensure that uh, we could also speak to your heart, regardless of, you know, what, what it is that technology may or may not do. We hope and pray that each of you have uh, re really received this message, but even more importantly, uh, we know that power might be out in some parts of the city, uh, but we thank God for this ability to share this word and this time with Amen. you. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you now. We declare and decree that you are God. And God, we trust you. Yeah. Uh, we trust you more and more each and every day. God, we give you the glory that is due your name. And we honor you, Father, for this opportunity to speak win words oh, over God. the airways, to speak yes. win words yes, over online mediums, to speak win In words through Jesus. text message, Permeate through voice today. memos. God, we Awaken thank you right now that beat. you would open up every In door. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you for that, that you would not only speak blessing, Abundant but grace. that you would speak, Father God, win words. Yes, Lord. That you would blow here and there. And yes. that you would cause us to awaken to the dream. Yes, Father. Give we our, declare and hear. decree yes, that, Father, it is exactly. your desire to give your children the keys to the kingdom. Yes. And so, Father God, because of that, we trust you. Yes, Father. Because of that, God, we rest in you. Hallelujah. Because of that, God, we make preparation to launch and to walk out our destinies. Yes, God. We thank you right now for every family that's listening under the sound of our voice. And we pray that even during this time that, uh, God, that we would not only rest and relax, but, Father, even more importantly, we would reflect upon yes, your faithfulness. Yes. We declare, Father, that you are Lord, and like you, there is no other. Father, we thank you that as we look towards the hills from which cometh our help, we know that our help comes from you. And in this first month of 2016, it's been a time of preparation. Hallelujah. And God, we prepare now Thank you, Lord. to walk even further in month number two as we awaken to the dream. Bless these people, your people, we pray. Yes, Father. Bless Victory Faith Christian Center. Thank you, Lord. Bless every family, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come Glory on, that's God. right. Hallelujah. Give God praise yes, today. He's, he's been faithful. He's worthy, Father. We honor you yes, with Lord. everything. And Amen. we trust you Amen. in all things. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, friends. Pastors Curtis and Tina Norton here. We're so thankful that we've had opportunity to share the word with you. And we pray and we thank God for his faithfulness. God is great. Uh, we want you to know that you can even take opportunity to sow seed into good soil. Uh, you can utilize the PayPal link. Uh, go to paypal.com. VFCC.tv is the email that you can utilize uh, as well as we want to encourage you if we would have met today uh, we would have been prepared to sow our empowerment seed you know the Bible says that God will uh, not only bless you uh, Pastor Tina but bring you even he'll open up doors and bring you before great men Amen. and uh, I recognize that because of God's faithfulness to us but even more importantly our our faithfulness to him you know these last several weeks we've been before some great men oh yes he's faithful he really is faithful and 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 let it be placed in in in, in motion and set uh before you in your hearing that whatever you do in honor and in obedience yeah yeah for god it does not go unnoticed yeah god will take care of the things that concern you. So remember beloved. Be faithful in all things. Uh, it's, it's, it's required of a steward. That a man be found faithful. And um, we just honor the Lord today. Because he's shown us how to walk that faithfulness out. And today we admonish you as well. To join alongside us. And let's do God's business. Uh, Amen. At the highest level. And the strongest commitment. Amen. We love Amen. you so much. Glory to God. Praying for all of you, uh, wherever you are. Hopefully you didn't get stuck at work over the last several days and you've had opportunity uh, to be at home with uh, uh, family. I want to thank God for Elder Althea Williams who held down the fort while we were away. Uh, we know you preached a powerful word, woman of God. And uh, thank you for all who were faithful during that period of time. Uh, God bless you. Today is our prayer. Have a wonderful week in the Lord. And we'll see you on Sunday morning. Amen.